In this video, we will learn how we can create AI calculator app using MIT App Inventor. Okay, so let me show you the example first. So that's the modern way to calculate. Okay, so how we can do this? Just click on this speed button. 20 multiplied by 30. 600. Fine. Let's click on again. 30 multiplied by 23. 690. Right. So that's the modern way to calculate. So open this website, appinventor.mit.edu and click on a start new project and your project name is AI. Okay. That's my app. Nice. So that's my first screen here. Right. Now I'm going to drag and drop your one layout. Click on this layout button and you can see vertical arrangement. Drag and drop this layout and make it hide as fill parent and then with this fill parent. Okay. Now click on user interface and we need your one label one, two, three, and four. We need your four label and one button like this. Okay. Then click on this vertical arrangement and make it align horizontal to center and top align to center. Now click on this label one and change this text to your question. And you can type any other thing also. You don't need to worry. Okay. And click on this label too. And remove the stack from here. And make this height is at least 20%. Okay. And then change this background color to something. Like if it is orange. And make this with its fill parent. Like this. Now click on this vertical arrangement. And click on default color. And you can change this color. So you can make it tile. You can make it black. So let me just make it black okay now click on first this one okay this one is a question make it at least 80 okay font size make it font bold and change this text color to white your question okay that one and here you can see another one label and change this name to answer okay or you can see that's the result also okay simply and then make it also font with font port make it 18 and change this text color to white okay and make it not font electric font bold now click on another one this one fourth level remove this text and make this height is also 20 percent okay and then make this with this fill palette like this and change this uh, background color to orange or yellow fine so we can see that's the design and click on this button and this button should be like uh, speak or something and to make it a speak button and change this background color to around something tile i'm gonna, I'm gonna make it tile this one and make this text color to white okay and then change this font size to 20 and make it with this fill parent like this okay and i'm going to use your one label to make it some space here and remove that text and make this height is two percent fine so that's our design you can make better design okay so that's depend now uh now let's we have to code for that but first we need to drag and drop something that first thing is google dialog but whenever i use this one dialog google dialog and you can see in the uh media section you can see google speech recognizer but this will pop up the one uh, you know model so i have to hide this model so for that i will use one extension so that one is sc uh, speech recognizer speech uh, recognizer okay app inventor Okay, and you will get this uh, here i will give you the link of this extension okay in the description so open this fine now you can see aix file just download this file here go to the mit app inventor in the left side you will find extension option import extension and drag and drop this extension here fine now uh, in the left side you will find the option of uh, one click on media you can see text to speech drag and drop this this one is also important for us fine we need two things first one is text to speech and you can see extension drag and drop this also this one is space recognizer okay now 
go to the blog whenever someone open our app okay so whenever someone initialize the screen then we will use your simple text to speech and we will just say like just turn it up there and he can see welcome to our AI calculator app please press speak button to ask question or you can say uh, whatever you want like you have to just quote that one text particular text okay simply now whenever that one is fine now whenever someone click on this speak button so we have to get the the uh, data okay so just click on speech recognizer and you can see the uh, we have to call this call get speech recognizer this one but how we can call it on this button click it means button one click so go to the block here and see button one on this button one click we had to call this speech recognizer like here okay now it's fine now we need to create two variables here okay so simply just put it down and click on list and you can see create empty list click on variable and initialize this variable global as a create empty list this one is num name and this one is number number like this now this is so fine now we have to create actually wherever we get the data so we have to separate number and the text okay so for that we have to use a string replacement also so how we can do this so we will create here one uh, global variable that one detect the words okay so we have to teach ai which word we have to remove okay so for that I'm to create one more uh, global variable and that name is you can see I'm going to use here for multiple uh, whenever someone uh, multiple the uh, numbers then that then we will we'll use all these uh, we have to remove all these words okay so I'm to make it a list okay you can make that list more larger so I, I'm just putting here only two numbers whenever someone say two product two then that will answer is four if someone say two multiplied by two then the answer is also four okay so you can use other word also like two uh into word into two something like that and whatever word you want to do so you are just you just need to add here so click on this text and just drag and drop this here and i'm to make it here product product okay and then just copy paste this and i'm to make it here one more thing multiply multiply simply okay now this one is right whenever someone click on uh, a speech recognizer button so this will call whenever we initialize this screen then we have to uh, uh, speak speak this one now whenever we get the data it means click on the speech recognizer and you can see when a speech recognizer get the data so then what we need to do here we have to call here simply user we have to get first of all we have to get the data okay in the uh, level so in which level we are going to uh, get the data we will use here this one uh, which one level one level two okay so go to the block and you can see level two and level two dot text this one so we will set this level two dot text as our result that result like this okay and we need to call here one simple procedure so in this procedure we will we will fetch the only number okay and we will remove the words so click on this procedure and let's create one procedure here so i'm going to make it here okay and the procedure name i'm to make it get num okay so we are getting the number and we need here one of uh, input so just drag and drop this here and you can make it as a sentence or something okay fine like now so whenever this number we have to set first we have to set this number this one set global number this one number as a empty list this one call it here like this okay whenever we call this procedure this will happen then 
we have to use here for each loop because we don't know how many words are there so uh, click on this math sorry the control and you can see for each loop this one just write and drop this here and the for each item you can use word also uh, okay right and then we have to use your split at space okay so we have to split the space means whenever is someone say 2 into 2 it means there is a space between into or 2 so we have to split that one word in the space bit from the space so click on this list and you can see the option of split split at space this one okay uh, now we have to split the word okay it means sentence so we have to get this sentence get sentence and we have to split the sentence from the space okay and then we have to save one by one word in a list so click on this list and you can see the add list item to the list okay and we have to set and we have to get the number also and we have to increase the number see how many uh, words are there so for that just get number this one get number on the list and the item we have to add this one Add for like this okay simply nothing uh not for now what we need to do we have to use one more condition here before this one okay and the condition is we have to get only numbers not words okay so for that we will use a one condition it means if the word this it means this word from this sentence is number click on maths and you can see the is number option in the last years if the word is number it means this one get word then then we will call this one here this one here otherwise if there is a some text then we will not get it we, we are just getting here number only okay now this is procedure now we have to call this procedure here after uh, the speech recognizer so click on procedure and you can call it here and the syntax is that result because whatever we get uh, from the speech then we have to move this here now now we have to use here again one more condition if condition click on control is here like simply and then we have to check the length of the list okay so click on maths and you can see this one equal and the length of the list click on list and length of the list you will get the option of copy list list empty length of the list sorry this one is the length of the list is equal to two okay if someone says three numbers so we, we are not going to uh, calculate this okay so if the number is two and the length of the list in from which list we have to get number this one this one list get number okay now we have we are getting the number if the answer is correct if the condition is good or uh, right then we are going to calculate the here uh, result it means level 4 it means click on level 4 and set level 4 dot text this one set la level 4 dot text should be click on this math and here you can see the option of multiply this one right this one and the, we have to get the first number it means select list item we have to use here select list item this one okay and from which list we have to get number get global number from this list and which number we have to get we have to get one number okay it means this one i'm going to paste here from the first and then again we have to just copy paste this and we will get another one more number but this one from second number it means calculation of both numbers okay and then we will use again a speech text to a speech option here and we will set simply calculator one dot it means level four level four dot text this one okay fine simply now let me just check how it's work on uh there's an issue okay wait some second click on level two and make sure this font is at least 20 okay and make it font bold and this should also be 20 and make it font bold so let me just check this app how it's work or not and let's see 
So I'm using your AI companion to run this app. Welcome to our AI calculator app. Please press speak button to ask questions. Okay. Now click on the speak button. 20 multiplied by 30. 600. Right. That's amazing. So that's the overall app we have created. But this one is for multi, uh, multiply only. Now how we can, you can add plus, minus and divide it. So you just need to simply just copy base and initialize global make it this one multiply to divide and plus add some your numbers here simply and then you have to change your conditions okay if the uh, if the multi you have to multiply then you have to check if someone say multiply or something work then you have to call this one uh, procedure or this one condition if someone say plus then you have to use here one more if else to call it like this one max you can see th there are a lot of like minus plus into and divide simply okay so that's the overall app we have created but this one is for multi uh, multiply only now how we can you can add plus minus and divide it so you just need to simply just copy base initialize global make it this one multiply to divide and plus add some your numbers here simply and then you have to change your conditions okay if the uh, if the multi you have to multiply then you have to check if someone say multiply or something work then you have to call this one uh, procedure or this one condition if someone say plus then you have to use here one more if else to call it like this one max you can see th there are a lot of like minus plus into and divide simply okay so you 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 got the idea how we can create this ai app right and that's the overall app so let me know if you have some doubt you can ask me on comment and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye